Hello and welcome to this week's Friday meditation, which is also the September full moon meditation. Now, you may or may not know that all the full moons have names. And this full moon is known as the harvest moon because it is the it's the closest full moon to the autumn equinox and which was last Saturday. And there is a special guided meditation for the equinox when the uh, the days and the nights are the same length. And now, of course, we're the other side of the equinox. So in the northern hemisphere now, the days are shorter than the nights. And the harvest moon was also named because it the full moon rises at around sunset. So it, it gave the, the farmers extra time to w work in the fields before you know, to get the harvest in before the weather before the weather gets colder and the frosty mornings set in, assuming that it's not cloudy, of course. So um, the, there's a, always, you know, a lot of spiritual traditions honour the phases of the moon and the full moon is, is like, and especially the harvest moon, it's, it's a time of abundance, isn't it? All the um, fruit and the crops that nature gives us everything we need. Unfortunately, in this modern world, things aren't distributed very evenly. And um, and we end up getting food from, which is grown in other parts of the world, which to me seems crazy. It's like, why don't those people have it? And we, and we grow the food that we need here. Anyway, we're not gonna get political on this channel, but let's, appreciate the abundance. Now you might notice um, I wear, think I like lemons and I've got lemons on my dress and, and, and I always start my day with um, some freshly squeezed lemon juice. And, and, and that always reminds me, it's very abundant because when you squeeze the lemon, there's loads and loads of pips in it. And then you think, well, each of those pips has then got the potential of growing into another tree with thousands of lemons and more thousands more pips to grow more trees and more lemons. So, and nature's like that, it's very bountiful. There's plenty for everybody. So um, let's not buy into that scarcity mindset that is perpetuated by the media. And know that our needs are always met. We have everything we need and there is enough for everybody else as well. So let's meditate on abundance. So go and turn off any distractions, your phone, notifications, anything that might disturb you in the next, I don't know how long this meditation is going to last because it lasts as long as it does. They're normally around 10-15 minutes on this channel and the invitation is that if you wish you can sit for longer, you might want to journal, something might, might come up for you and you know when we were at school we used to have harvest festivals and again, celebrating the abundance. So let this be a celebration of all the gifts and that nature and the earth provides for us, for our needs. So, If you're ready, you might want to close your eyes, make sure you're seated in a comfortable posture. Take some deep breaths to ground yourself. Come into the present feeling the earth beneath you, supporting you. In this meditation, we are focusing on abundance. So as we sit here breathing, focusing on the breath and appreciating body that carries on breathing without us needing to do anything. 
keeping us alive and that there's plenty of oxygen for everyone to breathe, not just humans, but animals and the trees that convert the carbon dioxide back into oxygen. that we all live in harmony together. Everything's connected. And if we have faith, we know that our needs will always be met. Might not always look the way we expect. But remembering nature is abundant, the earth is abundant and designed to meet every living being's needs. And notice how that feels in your body. Allowing your body to feel those positive, expansive emotions of gratitude and appreciation and love. You can imagine the moon now at its fullest. Reflecting the light back onto the earth. Feeling the air against your skin. Feeling the warmth surrounding your body. Feeling appreciation for the last meal that you had and all the people that were involved in producing the food. The farmers people that bring the food to the shops, people that work in the shops in order that we can go and buy food, bring it home, an appreciation for yourself if you cooked the meal or for the person that did or prepared it. Wonderful food came from the earth, nourishes your body. And knowing 
There's an infinite supply of everything that you need. Not just for you, but for everybody and every other living being. Then appreciating the elements, the sun, the rain, and the earth, which enables the food to grow. And the fact that everything works in perfect synergy at this time of the harvest moon. All the crops that have been growing over the summer that will keep us fed over the winter. and will provide our bodies with all the nutrients that they need. How does it feel in the body to be grateful, to be appreciative? Does that feel good? Does it feel expansive? And the more you focus on the good, the more that expands. Where you choose to place your awareness is where energy flows. So we can make a conscious choice when we're feeling that there isn't enough. We can shift our awareness to notice on all the things that we have, to count our blessings, and that actually we're okay. And there's always the opportunity to create more when we need it. There's just enough, not too much, not too little, enough for everybody. As you go through the rest of the day and the weekend, start being aware of all the abundance around you, taking that intention with you to appreciate every blessing in your life. And to not take anything for granted. And now just bringing your awareness into your heart, feeling the love there. And 
letting that love expand to surround you and spill out beyond your physical body that will affect and touch every being that you come into contact with. Your joy, your appreciation will be infectious and helping to raise the vibration and consciousness of the planet. an abundant day full of things that bring you joy and happiness and please bring me some joy and happiness by subscribing to the channel sharing with your friends buy me a cup of tea to help support my work the links are in the description below and I will be back Monday morning so have a wonderful weekend take care go well and lots of love